What's going on guys, Bob Roach from RoachTechnology.com here with an unboxing for you of the ASRock B75M ITX motherboard. Now in case you couldn't tell from this last part here, this is an ITX board and I, would, I don't want to say that you know every ITX board is quote unquote a budget board but compared you know for the price to performance and you know, feature ratio this is going to be a really nice board for you so let's go ahead and without getting too much into that let's go ahead and look around the box real quick supports intel small business advantage now from uh, judged you know, based upon everything that's on this box here it seems that this board is going to be great if you have say for example a business and you want to buy you know 10 or 20 computers uh, this is definitely going to be a great board you can do things like block off the usb ports and uh, there's there's tons of features that we'll kind of get into on the back here but i'm not doing that we're going to be making Making a hackintosh out of this guy uh, but right here as you can see we have the intel b75 chipset supports the intel core processors of course i3 i5 and i7 and you know compatible with windows 7 i don't want to be talking about windows right now like i said i will be using this for a hackintosh and it's actually the next board up in my hackintosh hardware video series so be sure to stay tuned to that uh, so as you can see right here 555 five times faster LAN, five times faster usb five times faster system speed so i'm sure there's more specifics and bunch of little asterisks um, on the back here but we'll go and get into that in a little bit here so just a quick look around the box uh, fast ram five times photoshop performance uh, fast LAN. of course there's a whole tons of you know asterisks and different hardware configurations will vary results you know all those kinds of things on the back here but uh, just getting into some of the features down here so down here we have something called DigiPower, which supplies more efficient power to the CPU. Um, ASRock OMG, which stands for Online Management Guard, uh, Internet Flash. I mean, a lot of this stuff you and me really don't care about, but um, people that want to run a business or just want to have you know a little Windows box, they might see some advantages. But not all these advantages will, of course, work with OS X because, well, this board's not designed for OS X. But regardless, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. And in the box we have what looks to be two SATA cables. On this one, it has designed for SATA 3, 6 gigabits per second. I really don't know if there's too much of a difference between these two, but um, there's that. Here we have an I.O. shield. Nothing uh, too fancy. We'll not be using that. Uh, let's see here. Just, you know, some more walkthrough of a lot of the features this board has. Quick install guide, of course, with, you know, um, a CD here, you know, drivers or whatnot. And here's the actual board itself. If you've never seen an ITX board, ITX boards are always very small. You know, there's ATX, micro ATX, and of course ITX, which is a really small board. So putting that aside, go ahead and take the board out of here. Let's go ahead and throw this box somewhere. And here we have the board itself. So taking it out of the anti-static bag. And yes, I did just touch you know, a metal pole. I just I kind of discharged electricity as best as I could, but it's kind of like a big tablet or something. It's almost like one handable. Very nice form factor, very small, and definitely fits within pretty much anybody's budget if you're looking to build a computer. So on here we have the CPU socket. This is a socket 1155. Once again, Core i3, i5, and i7. We have one PCI Express 3.0 slot, which is you know basically for a GPU. You're not going to be able to add wireless cards to this board or anything like that if you're using a GPU. If this is left vacant and you're simply using the onboard uh, video card, then you can add one PCI accessory to this board. Here we have two RAM slots for a maximum of 16 gigabytes of memory. I believe, yeah, DDR3, so there you go. Uh, once again, maximum of 16, though you can't have 32 gigabytes in this particular motherboard. Uh, moving up here, you know, North Bridge, nice big old heat sink. Up here you have a 4 pin for your CPU. There is not an 8 pin, it's only a 4 pin, so you're probably not going to want to be doing a lot of overclocking on this board, although I'm not really sure why you'd want to anyway. Let's see, up here we have uh, four different SATA. We have what looks to be, I think they're all SATA 3, but this one is different color. That could be a different uh, chipset. Honestly, I'm not sure off the top of my head. Up here you have your main 24 pin power connector, that's very standard. Uh, moving you know, down here, I think that's actually a uh, USB 3 header, so that's really nice to have. Down here you have your front audio, sorry you couldn't see that, uh, but here you have your front audio, that's if you want to put this in a case and you have the you know, a headphone jack and stuff on the front, that's where you plug into that. And moving to the back here, we have a PS2, which is pretty old school, not many people use that nowadays. Uh, we have two USB 2.0 ports, we have VGA out, DVI out. HDMI out. This looks to be uh, it's kind of like a mix, like a, a hybrid slot. Maybe it looks like a USB or like an eSATA. Two more USB 2.0 ports. Two USB 3.0 ports, which is nice. 
Here we have a RJ45, just standard Ethernet connection. And here we have all your various audio ins and outs complete with optical. So this is going to be hopefully a very nice Hackintosh board. I believe there is some BIOS flashing that we have to do in order to get this to work. So that's going to be pretty sweet. So stay tuned for that. And I don't want to drag this video out anymore. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'm at CPUKid on Twitter. Also be sure to check out Roach Technology. Give this video a big old thumbs up. And I hope to see you guys right back here soon.